Hey there, welcome back to Geeky Greenhouse. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to prune basil for bushier plants and increased yields. So if you're relatively new to growing basil, flowers are not really something you wanna see on your plants. Basil will naturally flower when it's ready to produce seeds and reproduce, but for the best flavor, you really wanna prune your basil and avoid flowering altogether. So in this video, I'll be sharing when to prune your basil, how often to do it, and how to prune it properly for bushy plants and high yields. So this is our Thai basil plant, but the principles of pruning are the same whether you're growing Thai basil or Genovese basil. Whatever type of basil you have, the pruning techniques are the same. So once your plant is a decent size, somewhere around 10 to 12 inches tall, you can prune for the first time. So what you wanna do is look for nodes along any of the main stems. So start at the top of a branch, there'll be nice lush foliage, and go down underneath the canopy and look for the next node. Here's a good example right here, and you can see that the main stem extends down, but there's this junction where there are new leaves forming. Just above these nodes is the perfect place to prune, as the flowers will typically form just at the top of a branch. So by snipping away just the tops of these branches, you'll encourage a hormonal response in the plant, sending more resources down to produce those leaves lower on those branches. From here, it's pretty obvious what happens. Those lower nodes will produce their leaves and the plant will naturally form a more bushy shape. And bushy is exactly what you want with basil since you're harvesting the leaves and not the fruits or flowers, you want as many leaves as possible. So by doing this on a regular basis, every two or three weeks is a pretty good cadence of pruning. You'll end up with more and more basil, more than you can use in most cases. There you can see an old pruning point where I pruned a few weeks ago. And as you can see, that new growth came from the node just below it and the new foliage came in nice and strong. Now, if you see flowers starting to form on your basil, you definitely wanna get rid of those right away. Even if you pruned yesterday, you should get rid of any flower buds before they start to form. Now, there are many reasons your basil may be into flower. The first of which is heat. If your basil is exposed to really high temperatures, later in the summer when it's really baking hot, that can trigger the plant to reproduce and produce its flowers. So there's not too much you can do about that if your basil is outdoors, but if you can find a cooler spot, if you're growing indoors like this plant was grown, or maybe a spot where there's partial shade, afternoon shade is ideal, where you can avoid some of those really hot afternoon temperatures. Another cause of early flowering is certain varieties just tend to bolt and produce their flowers sooner than others. Thai basil is actually a great example of this. When we planted this outdoors last season, it was one of the first plants to produce flowers and it was really hard to keep up with pruning, leading to a less than ideal flavor. And lastly, if your plants are exposed to drought, if you don't water frequently enough and the root system becomes totally dried out, the plant will again be stressed out and encouraged to produce flowers. So make sure you're watering evenly. You don't wanna overwater the plants, but make sure that that soil stays moist so that the plant can stay hydrated. So here is a small cutting that we just took and a bonus tip if you're pruning your basil is you can put this into some water, just submerge the base of that cutting down into some rainwater or tap water and allow it to sit there for a week or two and your cuttings will produce roots and can be planted as new plants. So if you have a longer growing season or you just have an extra spot in the garden that you wanna fill, try propagating your basil. It's really easy, you're pruning it anyway, so why not turn it into a new plant? Okay, so here is the plant after pruning. I got a nice pile of basil that I can use in the kitchen or turn into cuttings and new plants. And the plant doesn't look much worse. There's still plenty of foliage to continue photosynthesizing. And soon enough, those lower growing points will shoot off new foliage and will be ready to prune again. So that's really it. We love basil. Thai basil is really my favorite, but Genovese basil, Italian cooking basil, just amazing flavor. And if you follow these pruning techniques, you'll probably have more basil than you know what to do with. Let us know if you have any tips when it comes to pruning basil. We're always looking for new ideas and ways to get the most out of our plants. Thanks for watching Geeky Greenhouse, and I'll see you next time.